American democracy, built on votes, freedom, and some fascinating math. In presidential elections, not all votes are equal. Why? The Electoral College. A voter in Wyoming has nearly four times the influence of a voter in California. All because of how electoral votes are distributed. 538 electoral votes. 270 needed to win. You can technically become president with just 22% of the popular vote if you win the right states. Now let's talk gerrymandering. Drawing district lines to favour one party. It's geometry meets strategy. A few pen strokes can flip entire elections. Then there's voter turnout. In most federal elections, around 60% of eligible Americans vote. That means presidents are often elected by a fraction of the population. And don't forget the math of polling. Sample sizes, margins of error, probability models, all used to predict outcomes, sometimes accurately, sometimes disastrously. Democracy may be a right, but behind the scenes, it's powered by numbers. Math isn't magic, it's everywhere.